In this section, we're going to continue talking about the Snap tool and Object Snap. Specifically, I'm going to start telling you about these that are listed here, starting from the left. This is End Snap, Near Snap, Point Object Snap, and Midpoint Object Snap. Now, to demonstrate this is fairly simple. What I'm going to do is draw a simple curved line. And now let's turn on End Snap. Now at this point, if I was to draw a second curve, or create any shape really, all that's going to happen is my cursor is going to tend to snap to the endpoints of this line. In the case of creating a second curve, that can be convenient because that means it's going to be automatically connected to the first. If I were to highlight both of these, click Join, they would be joined. I'll uncheck End Snap, and let's talk about Near Snap. Again, I'll start with a simple curved line, then we're going to draw a second line. As you can see in this case, my cursor tends to snap to the line itself, to the curve itself. Again, this can be done with anything. A sphere, for example. the starting point or center of my sphere is going to be exactly on my curved line with near snap checked. Now it's important to note quickly here that you can actually use a couple of these or more than a couple at the same time if you'd like. And near. At this point they're both turned on. Okay, now what about point snap? Well, point snap, if I try to do the same demonstration, doesn't intuitively show us what's going on. However, if I turn on my control points for this line, then decide to create another line, here you can see it snaps to the control points themselves, with a little flag telling me that it's the point. And again, the first point of my shape, whatever it may be, can then be snapped to a control point. If I were to select my line and turn on edit points, again, with point highlighted, it's going to jump to the points themselves. So that's point snap. I'll turn off my edit points by right clicking. Now what about midpoint snap? Well, let's try it. Let's see what happens. So you can see my second line snaps to the center of my first curve. That's the exact center of the curve, and that's what midpoint object snap is going to do for me. In this case, I created a square that intersects my curve exactly that one point. So again, quickly, midpoint snap is going to be the center of my line here. Point object snap is going to snap to the control points or edit points of my curve. Near object snap will stick to the curve itself, the length of the curve. And then end snap will snap to the endpoints.